Hello, I'm James Harvey, the Professor of Music Theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. I'm going to start the timer and we're going to talk in this video about an error, which is sort of easy to avoid in some situations, called the spacing error. Or I'll put spacing errors. And spacing errors have to do with the spacing of the voices on the staff. So spacing errors occur when there's more than an octave between voices, consecutive voices that is. Now if I have here, in fact, well, let's do it in lower voices so we have a little bit more space, but I'll keep that same, same pitch. So we have a perfect octave here between the bass and the, the tenor. That's totally fine. Now, I'm going to take that F and I'm going to move it to the alto. So we have an octave. Now up to an octave is completely fine. What the problem is is when we have more than an octave between these two voices. Now this distance is more than an octave between these inner voices. This is considered an error. It's a spacing error. And the reason it's called a spacing error is that there's too much space between those two notes. Now spacing errors are really easy to see when they're happening between, um, let's say, like notes in the soprano and the alto. So that's pretty easy to see because you see that giant gap. Where the spacing errors are not quite as easy to see is when it's happening here in the inner voices. So there's a spacing error between those two. There's more than an octave. Something else to watch out for, by the way, with the inner voices is voice crossing, which is very hard to, uh, to see sometimes. This is actually voice crossing here. I'll put VC for voice crossing because the B in the tenor is actually higher than the G in the alto. And that's a common error that I see. There is one exception to the spacing error rule, and that is the bass. The bass is exempt from this. Let's write that. So the bass can be as far away from the tenor as it needs to be, because the bass really does its own thing and it determines the inversion of the chord. So the bass is exempt from spacing errors. Where the spacing errors occur are between soprano and alto, and alto and tenor. There's no such thing as a spacing error between the tenor and the soprano because those are not consecutive voices. So again, the spacing errors only occur between soprano alto and alto tenor, and that's when there's more than an octave between the two. Octaves are fine as long as they're not moving in parallel, but more than an octave would be considered a spacing error. Thank you.